Welcome back everybody to another ROM overview. Uh, this one is for the Nexus 6 again, uh, but this is the ROM called Octos, um, which is more, uh, it's hard for me to pronounce it. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I call it OctOS or OCTOS. Um, this is a really, really nice ROM. Uh, I first started using it uh, on my uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 2 um, back when it was Lollipop, and it was a really nice ROM. Um, I have been running it on this device in Lollipop, um, and then they changed to Marshmallow. When they evolved to Marshmallow, they made some changes that um, I particularly don't care for. Uh, really only one major change. Um, and that was to the layers format, uh, RRO, as opposed to um, the Cyanogen mod theme engine, uh, like they were running. But um, I am here to show you guys different ROMs and what's available and what you guys can flash. Um, so regardless of um, what I think of the ROM, um, which I think is a very nice ROM, uh, but I'm not going to run it because of the layers. Uh, there's a lot more options out there for me. Um, I think that if you like layers, this is a very nice ROM to run. Uh, so let me go ahead and get right on into it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go into settings and about phone. And I, I'm just running a clear uh, layers theme on this. Uh, as you guys can see, this is the Android version 6.0.1. Uh, this is the Octos. M or OctOS. Um, again, I'm not 100% sure how you, how you really say that. Uh, I am running Despair Kernel. Uh, they don't recommend that you run other kernels, but I have to warn you that this will force encryption. And if you are like me and you are unencrypted and you want to stay unencrypted, you're going to need to flash a kernel uh, that uh, does not force encryption. Uh, Despair kernel does not force encryption. Uh, it's a very smooth kernel. Uh, that's why I'm running it. Um, I'm going to try not to keep this uh, video too long. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. There's not a lot in the settings. Um, that's any different than any other ROM. So what I'm going to do is, and this ROM is built entirely different. Uh, from other ROMs, you notice you have your, you know, your display settings. It looks like just a straight stock AOSP ROM, uh, the way it looks, if you didn't know any better. Um, but once you go ahead and set up all your normal settings, your sound, your, um, and your display settings and stuff like that, um, you want to get into the custom features. Uh, what you need to do then is you go home. Go into your app drawer, scroll down, and you will see tentacles. This is what we all loved about this ROM right here. This is the uh, the custom settings on this ROM. Um, and the reason why this is running sluggish, it is not the ROM's fault. I'm trying to run this in 1080p. Um, I usually run uh, a little lower uh, video quality. Um, but I'm trying to run it a little bit better uh, so you guys can get the brilliance of um, uh, of the way it looks. They put a lot of time and effort into their ROM. Uh, and I wanted you guys to be able to see that clearly. Um, of course, you have your About uh, the Team. This is all about them, um, where you can go to, you know, uh, read up about the developers, um, you know, all their supporters, stuff like that. Um, this is the first of many settings in here. This isn't actually a setting. This is more uh, just a, uh, a guide and a, uh, you know, for you to get to know them. First up, buttons. Uh, you have your power button, uh, ends calls. Uh, then you have your volume rocker wake. Um, and your playback. Of course, there's where your layers manager is, unless you use the app like I do. I just have the app set up on my desktop. Your 
LCD density changer if you so choose. Lock screen settings. Man, I've got it. The next time I do a video, it is definitely not going to be 1080p. It takes too long to change. This ROM is much, much faster than this. But here are all your options for uh, changing in your lock screen. Making certain adjustments and stuff like that. Excuse me, boy. Uh, here are your miscellaneous tweaks. Nav bar options. You have your double tap to sleep. If you uh, if you want to use that, it's there. Uh, buttons and layout. This is where you would uh, move the buttons around on the bottom, uh, or your your nav buttons. If you want your back button over here, and your <clears throat> uh, recents button there, that's the way you do it. You would physically touch and hold them and move them, and then hit the save button. Uh, here are your dimensions. I know a lot of you like to see this. Some of you like your buttons very, very small. Uh, I'm not one of those people. Uh, I like them as big as I can get them. Uh, and you can color them if you want. I'm not going to color it because I am running um, a layers theme uh, that gives me that, that little Google for my home and if I hit the color on it it will change that to a solid color and I like it the way it is so I'm not gonna mess with that but it does work I will tell you that it does work here's your notification drawer settings uh, you have your quick pull down uh, show weather uh, select order of tiles uh, this is where you can pick and choose from the tiles that they have um, I have quite a few up here already right now, but this is what I didn't add. Um, then you would have your uh, settings for, uh, you know, your enlarge your first row. How many rows you want, your brightness slider, uh, if you want that to even be in your pull down, which I do, um, and your vibrate to touch. On the power menu, uh, you have your advanced reboot setting. That's where you would turn that on at. Uh, there are not a lot of settings in this. Um, I would really like to see a lot more than this. Uh, I do use my power menu um, for almost like a quick toggle menu. Um, I like ROMs that give you a lot of options for your power off menu. Um, and, you know, as this as the development gets further on this ROM, they may incorporate more features into this. But right now, this is what, what they have. This is all they have. Uh, and it's enough. It's definitely enough to get you where you need to go and, you know, to run it. Uh, here are your recent settings. Uh, you can turn on your search bar if you want. Uh, memory bar, clear all recents, and then your clear all recents location. Status bar settings. Um, they do include a battery bar in this. Thank you very much to the developers uh, for including that. But um, here are the settings for the battery bar. It's a basic setting, but like I said in many, many uh, overviews before, I, I think that when a battery bar is incorporated or baked into the ROM, uh, it's much better. Um, it works better. It looks better. Uh, it just It just works. Um, here's your battery status style. It's pretty typical. Uh, your battery percentage if you want to use that or you can hide it. Uh, clock settings. This is your clock and date. Uh, they do allow you to color it. I appreciate that from the developers. Um, I like many options. Um, but, you know, it's basic. Um, but they do give you the option to give it color. And, uh, you know, we'll take what we can get. Uh, you guys have to remember remember that uh, OctoS or <coughs> uh, Octos um, Marshmallow, this is like their uh, second version uh, of Marshmallow. Or this may even be the first release. 
Um, and they, you know, as they release more, they're kind of like Beanstown. Um, they don't release anything unless they thoroughly, thoroughly test it. Uh, they, they don't even have test builds that they release. Uh, they have their testers um, test the ROM, test it, test it, give feedback, send in logs, um, and they are constantly working until they get it to perfection, and then they release it. And believe me, this ROM works, and it works very, very well. Uh, let's see, uh, show notification count, double tap to sleep, and your status bar items. Now this is, again, um, where you would pick and choose. This is, you, this was under the development options, um, when Marshmallow was first released, but they kind of, you know, depending on the developer, they move them where they feel like they want to move them to, but this is where you would go to, uh, turn those features on or off. And that's about it. I mean, you have your super suit settings um, that, you know, this is where you would go. Uh, it it does come with a super user installed. Uh, you can hide the tentacles launcher and the icon. Um, but if, you know, if you remove it, uh, I don't know how you're really going to get to it um, because there is no settings in the settings menu to get to it that I, that I have found. So... Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I am running uh, Nova Launcher, uh, as you guys are aware. Um, I haven't tried any of the Google Apps with this, and when I say Google Apps, I mean now on tap, uh, any of that. Um, you know, I, I so I don't want to give you any opinion on that. Um, I will give you my opinion on the ROM, though. Um, for the ROM being what it is for its first or second release at the most, I think it's very, very well done. Uh, it's a solid ROM. Believe me, don't let this video fool you. Um, switching between apps is instant. Uh, it is the video recorder I'm using, AZ Video uh, video recorder that's doing this because I have it set up at a higher uh, rate. Um, and that's the only reason. Other than that, it is just very, very fluid. Uh, it's got a nice look to it. Um, the stock wallpaper, if you guys want to see what it looks like, uh, I'm going to bring it up. I'm not going to set it, though, um, but I will let you see it. So when you flash this, uh, this is pretty much what comes on it, that wallpaper right there. <laughs> uh, and it's, it's okay. I mean, if that's what you want, actually, you know what? We'll go ahead and set it. That is what it looks like when you flash the ROM. Well, guys, uh, I hope you liked the video. It, it was kind of short, um, and uh, I hope you guys don't think that I don't like OctoS because I, I think these guys are, are a very great team. Uh, they're a very great team of developers. They do very good work. Um, Layers is just not my cup of tea, and um, I still think that this ROM has a little bit of ways to go as far as the, the development goes. Uh, it needs a, a couple more features in it. You know, for me to throw on and run as my daily driver, I need a few more features than what it's offering right now. But if you're uh, somebody that just likes, you know, a stock uh, AOSP ROM with a few features, this is a nice ROM to run. Um, again, I want to thank all my subscribers. I really appreciate it. Uh, and I just want to thank anybody out there that is watching this video. Uh, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Um... And I will see you on the next one. So you take care.